What? No, I'm not. I'm not doing another pose video. I've already done unit two. I'm not doing another one of that one. It's the same thing. I'm not doing it. I'm not. <sighs> All right, you two, here we go. We have another pose video just for y'all. And it's gonna be on the unit three, of course. Um, not really much different with the unit two, but since it does have a new weapon, that means we could actually try out some different poses. So without further ado, let's go ahead and try out one particular pose that I kind of been wanting to do for a little bit. Okay, and here we are, the first pose. Now, obviously, I wanted to use the um, the double beam cannon, and I was like, you know, what ways can I really utilize this? And I found I found a bunch of different ways. Don't get me wrong, uh, but I like this one because for some reason this kind of reminds me of Mega Man, and um, I was like, you know what, this actually looks pretty cool. So I wanted to stick with this one for the first pose and utilizing that open hand on uh, the left arm. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that it actually came with an open ha uh, open hand, uh, so that way he can actually go ahead and grab his weapon or you know grab the rifle, whatever you know, whatever he's uh, utilizing, uh, just to give it that much more. Uh, uh, dynamic looking pose so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get into the second pose of the day Okay, and here is the second pose. So my inspiration behind this was pretty much Grandpa. Uh, I really just love like the ARC 78-2's uh, kind of iconic pose. I know it's not like 100% precise, uh, but it's something I really love. I love that leaping with you know just the one beam saber left. Um, also, uh, keep in mind that uh, you know for the exam mode, you're gonna have to pop out these little shoulders and these little thrusters right there at the bottom. Uh, you're gonna want to go ahead like these little things right here. You want to go ahead and adjust those. As well so if you do have this kit you know in the manual it's going to tell you um, I don't know if, what it says in English but it, it kind of just shows you that there's um, an extra propulsion uh, system and I guess this is for the exam mode maybe for the exhaust or something along those lines uh, but if you want to go ahead and utilize that I think it looks a little bit better because it's like hey you know this mobile suit is about to go all out and all of it all it has is in its arsenal is a beam saber so I think it looks pretty dope um, if y'all want to go ahead and, and test it out, try it, see what it looks like to y'all, by all means go ahead. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the final pose of the night. Okay, and here is the third and final pose. Um, now, I know obviously he does have a shield, but I think some of the poses with the shield is pretty bland. Um, and also he does have this little machine gun uh, that comes with the, um, this is pretty much a, the ground unit uh, Gundam's machine gun, but uh, I don't think it's canon. Um, it's not, it's, it's in the instruction manual, but you don't ever see this mobile suit with it, uh, at least to my knowledge, if he ever does have it. I'm not really too sure, maybe it's from just from the video game, um, but he does have that beam rifle and then he's also going to have the, um, the nice little double beam cannon, but I figure I'll only use the beam cannon once in a pose, use the beam saber once because uh, I know he does have beam sabers, and then just use this uh, beam rifle. Um, now the idea was to actually have him with the shield and the beam rifle, uh, pretty much in the final pose. Um, it just doesn't look good, I'm sorry. Uh, and it's and like the shoulders are very very limited. Um, the poly caps do pop out as you can see right there, um, but they don't move forward. And that's kind of like the biggest issue. If the, if the shoulders um, or at least the joints can at least move forward, you can probably get a lot a lot more uh, dynamic poses with this. 
And the also thing that really cripples this uh, this kit is gonna be those ankles. Those ankles do not have like any pivot of any type. They're on like a little ball joint and that's it. So there's no good connection piece um, for those things to go ahead and get, get a, a really nice pivot. You're gonna have to do some modifications if you're gonna uh, desire that. Um, I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, this is still a decent kit, uh, especially you know for the price, for everything you get. You get a lot of stuff that comes with it. Um, I would just say for poses, you're really going to have to work in order to get some really dynamic poses. Uh, this kind of like took me a little bit just to get in this kind of uh, pose. And I know there's people out there that are like way better um, at, at doing some more dynamic poses. But I would just go ahead and say that any of these poses are really doable. And if you really enjoy those, you don't even have to apply it to this mobile suit in particular. You can apply it to any mobile suit you want. Um, but other than that, guys, it definitely was nice to go ahead and pose this just as much as it was nice to pose the unit 2. Um, and that's pretty much about it. That's all I have, guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, definitely rate, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Um, and just, you know, for anyone who wants a, you know, bonus, you know, bonus pose, uh, just go ahead and say I.